Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we set out with the goal to get 70 Slayer, and as you can see, we just achieved that. The goal for now, which isn't going to be for today, it's more of like a medium term goal, I guess, is to get 87 Slayer for Trident so that we can go to Barrows, which, I mean, we're pretty far away from right now. But we're just going to keep on doing Slayer since, after all, I am more of the Alpha Chad Slayer BF of the relationship and she's more of a uh, skiller Stacy GF of the relationship. But now that we have 70 Slayer, that means we could be assigned Karasks, so I'm really hoping that we get a bunch of them, and then over time eventually get a Leaf Blade Battle Axe, which is a pretty good weapon. But here we go, first task of the video. Alright, that's fast. If you haven't already, by the way, make sure to check out Spook Dog's channel, which is linked in every video description. But um, at the moment, she's currently working on crafting, so that way we can get glories. And just even besides having the gear upgrade, just having glories in the house for transportation would be super nice. The next upgrade I want to make with Slayer Points is the Slayer Helm, which costs 400, so we do have enough. But I just want to wait to make sure that we're going to have like enough points left over for skips. But very, very soon we'll be getting that. I feel like the strength level is kind of getting up there, so... I feel like at this point it's worth showing each of the strength levels. So there's level 84. Yo, there's 60 Hunter, which you need for Monkey Madness 2. Level 71 Slayer. Oh, it's so much time in between levels when I average like 10 to 12k XP per hour, but... We gotta keep on going, gotta keep on going. I still wanna get magic up too. I'm trying to like do as much alking as I can because we need 77 for super class make and then 83 for Burrows teleport. Although I'll probably just get 80 and then just build the portal on the POH using a wizard's mind bomb. We're up to 550 slayer points. And I feel pretty confident with that, that we're not gonna like run out of points for skips. So I think it's about time that we unlock the ability to craft the slayer helm for 400 slayer points, the biggest purchase yet. We need 55 crafting, which we have already, and then we just combine these seven items together. And it doesn't matter whether or not the black mask is imbued, it still keeps the imbue. Mine is not though, we gotta imbue that soon, but we just combine any of these two together, and there we go, the slayer helm. And I'll show you why I decided to make this right now. Oh yeah, I forgot, you have to actually go up the rope from like the inside of the catacombs to unlock the shortcuts. There's this whole long run over here to get to the Dagnoths, which I mean, it's not terrible, but I mean, for me, because I teleport home just to restore prayer because I'm not using prayer pots here. But there's this shortcut over here that we can use, but we have to run past the Deviant Spectres, which you would normally need a nose peg for. And it seems really annoying to have to remember to bring a nose peg with me every time I want to go to the Dagnoths. And I'd have to equip it as I run by the Deviant Spectres, which I'd probably forget to do and waste a lot of time. So with the Slayer Helm, I don't have to worry about switching those back and forth each time. I just remembered I had all these clues in the bank, but I noticed one of them is Talk to Hans for the beginner, and then the hard clues also Talk to Hans. So which one is he going to give me first? The beginner. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'll just ignore the DM, just pretend like it was never there. I know that's our glories waiting for us. It's fine. Doing these wildy steps reminds me, we need to get our Majorina cape soon. Yay, we got the casket. Besides for just the ones I did now, I did have a couple other caskets from before, so let's go ahead and open up all of these. Starting with the beginners. Ooh, nice, unique. Demon feet. Okay, and then two easies. Okay, so your page is new, medium, and the hard. Whoa, Dragon Boots Armicate, oh my god, that's so good for you I am, because uh, it allows you to single store Dragon Boots in the POH, but it's still cool that we got that, so once we get the D-Boots, it'll probably be a while before we get to Prims beyond that, so we can rock the D-Boots Armicate for a while. And then we got a second Black Dehyde Body, which I'll just uh, give over to Spook right now. Yeah, that was a pretty good hard clue. And there's level 85 Strength. The medium clue. Abby Spectres, but this time with the Slayer Helm. So we get the perk of the Black Mask, which gives us the 16.67% combat boost because we don't have to only wear the nose peg. Ooh, the Dark Mystic Robe Bottom. The only way to get this is from the different variations of Abby Spectres. So I won't have to waste money buying one from the Magic Guild. Uh, they sell the blue ones there, though, not the dark one. And it's a new slot for the collection log. Oh, and there's a master clue step that requires a mystic robe bottom, and it has to be the dark one specifically. 72 Slayer, that unlocks Skeletal Wyverns. All the way up to 72 and we still haven't had a Dust Devil task, or a Karas task. I'm gonna AFK a little bit of range tonight, uh, we're currently 58, and it'd be nice to get 60 or maybe even like 61 for the Rune Crossbow. At least 60 though for the Red Dehyde. Oh, that was so close, I just missed it. Well, we got 60 range, 
Uh, so that is red dehyde, and that is one of the requirements for morning's end part one. All right, I just got out of a team meeting. I was uh, in the other room with Spook, and we were just talking about how we would get the rune crossbow. And I mean, I could just go to the Wildy archaeologist and do it that way. But I think I'd rather go to the Fossil Island Archaeologist and go for the Runite Limbs instead of just getting the Rune Crossbows from the Wildy Archaeologist. And then she has to get 69 Fletching, which is going to take her a few days because we have to like collect her logs from Kingdom and all that. And then she'll spend her AFK downtime doing that. So it'll probably be a couple more videos till we get the Rune Crossbow. But it's not like we're really missing out because it's really not efficient to train Slayer with range, or at least with the Rune Crossbow, much less with the Bone Crossbow. Melee is just a lot faster. Here's the casket. Okay, uh, oh wait, is it, we really got a dupe page already with like the amount of clues that we have done. Well, that one's for Spook then. Out of all the pages of all the god books it could have been, it just happened to be one of the three. All right, game. No more monkeying around. We got a hard casket here. Rune full helm tea, okay. Still hoping for the black DI chaps though. Not that we can equip them right now anyways, but yeah. I just noticed we got this rune axe from the clue and Spook apparently doesn't have one, so. Now she does. 86 strength, exam random, XP book, herblore XP, and that is level 60 herblore. Looks clean. Ooh, watch this. A hundred tasks in a row, and we just got 450 Slayer points from this because we did a Konar task. Oh, we have 672 in total. We should uh, never run out of points again. At this point, we should uh, never have to reset with Turil. <laughs> I've never had the chance to use this yet, but pretty recently, I think in the last few months or something, maybe it's been longer, time kind of flies by fast, uh, they added this shortcut here to get to the Skeletal Wyvern. Oh, never mind. Oh, combat task and diary task. This is so sad. With one kill left to go, we have to teleport out. Ah, <sighs> It's just like a really far run to get back there. I should go to bed. Ink, you are everywhere. All right, you know I like to AFK Slayer a lot, and of course when you're AFKing Slayer, it helps to have a higher prayer level. And we only have 52 prayer, but I've been collecting a lot of unsold heads, and this is what we have. Um, I want to get to 60. I'm not sure if they'll get us to 60, but it should at least get us close. So we're gonna go train some prayer, and uh, I actually need to buy some body runes because I've never bought body runes on the account. These are all just from like drops. We're gonna be starting with level 52 prayer and we'll see if we make it all the way to 60. That'd be really nice because then we could unlock chivalry. Well, <laughs> there's level 53 already. And to do reanimation, we're not gonna be on the regular spellbook, so things are gonna be a little bit different in terms of how we're gonna bank. I'm gonna use the Ring of Dueling to teleport to Castle Wars, and then of course from here there's the bank. And then to get back, I guess we could either use the Salve Graveyard teleport to get to the Fairy Ring and just like have the Draymond staff on me to get back, or we could use the Arceus Library teleport. I've actually never used this spell before. It takes you over here. Okay, I mean that's pretty much like probably the same distance in terms of running. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter which, just a few seconds difference. I may as well use this teleport so that way I can put the Draymond staff in the bank. Also, of course, I just forgot my, uh, <laughs> my Ring of Dueling again. Um, we have to do the Teleport of Shame, or the Fairy Ring of Shame. By the way, a little tip for doing this, normally when you reanimate a monster, it pushes you one tile west, but if you stand in this corner here, I'll show you what happens if I reanimate from this corner. It's pretty much like lighting a fire, it'll just push you east then, so you can kind of just go back and forth, instead of like going in the middle, and then eventually you get out of the range of where you're able to reanimate, so this way you don't have to worry about that. 54. There's 55 prayer, we can use preserve once we unlock it from raids. 56. 57. 58. Well, it turns out that to use the next tier of the reanimation spells, we need 72 magic, and we only have level 7. I kind of forgot before that they consolidated all the reanimation spells into just four of them. But we could just buy a bunch of wizards mind bombs. Well, we don't have GP on me right now, but we could just buy them in bulk here. And that's going to boost us plus three magic so we can cast the spell then. See, look at this. No expert reanimation. Wizards mind bomb. Yes, expert reanimation. Oh, I just realized I'm on a Dagnoth Slayer task right now, and even if you kill the reanimated version, you still get Slayer XP. It's only 35 XP though. But yeah, it does count for your Slayer task. 59, one more to go. I think we can make it. And there it is, level 60 prayer. We could now use chivalry. So it's essentially um, steel skin, ultimate strength, and incredible reflexes all combined into one, except uh, you get a little bit more strength and even a little bit more and more defense. But like if I'm flicking, I can actually just like flick that instead of like, I used to just flick incredible reflexes if I was flicking, but now I can flick chivalry. I do have a few more insult heads and in the bank too. So we'll see if we can milk out one more level. I just noticed, I guess the wizard's 
mind bomb like drains your melee stats. I I just noticed that right now. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's just funny to see that. I guess for the reduced stats, we can just use the Ring of Dueling to teleport to Ferox. And then we can restore the stats there and restore health and prayer and everything. And we could bank. I love this pool, dude. It's so good. There's the stats back up. We actually got free level. We got 61. Well, there's a uh, 71 magic just from casting reanimate. It's actually like decent XP. We already got 20k XP for doing it. Oh wait, no, I was getting a little bit of XP from before, but we probably, I mean, we probably got close to 20k XP just from using the reanimation spell. All right, well, there we go. That's all the insult heads for the most part, at least the ones we could use. We have some insult dragon heads, but I mean, we can't use those. We need much higher magic level. We would need 90 magic for that, but we got all the way up to 61 prayer. This is just another reason why Slayer is so good. It helps with so many things, including just getting like passive prayer XP. We got all these insult heads, so I didn't have to like go to dragons or do pest control or whatever. It just, it just kind of happens from doing Slayer. And like with the UIM, it was pretty rare that I would actually use the insult heads since, I mean, obviously I couldn't bank them. While you can reanimate the heads like whenever you get them, I wouldn't want to be on the Archaeus spellbook because I would want to Alk, I'd have to teleport to different places. So generally I was always on the regular spellbook. And I mean, same thing with this account too. I need to Alk and teleport and stuff, but luckily I could just bank the heads and then use them all at once, just like we did today. And you get that sweet, sweet rush of levels and XP. I mean, you can see in the chat box just all the levels that we got today. So nice. Well, I guess we'll get back to Slayer though. Oh, and this is the prayer XP that we gained from the prayer session today, 178k XP. Now the not so fun part, at least for the cash stack, is buying back runes. Well, specifically nature runes because I have pretty much none now, but the 1500 worlds are coming in clutch at least. I was watching someone's videos, I think it was a friend, and he kept saying chivalry instead of chivalry, and it was just really bothering me. Medium casket. Oh, hey, that's an amulet power for spook. Nice. Well, here goes the 100 slayer points to block steel dragons, but we got plenty of points now. Okay, well, looks like we have another block to add to the list. 100 more points, but we still have a lot to spare. Oh, the very first dust devil task. Yes, dude. We're all the way up to 72 slayer, and we finally got the first dust devil task. I mean, I could have killed them anytime off task, but I do still care more about slayer XP than GP. I'm not going to be bursting them right now because if I'm on the ancient spellbook, I can't really get around as easily. I won't be able to alk. I mean, granted, I could just carry the items to the bank when my inventory gets full, but I mean, then I'd lose my spot and it takes so long just to even find an open world. Even though you would profit bursting these guys in the end, I barely even have enough startup GP to afford the runes. It takes so long to switch spellbooks. I don't even have any prayer pots. I just, it really feels like it's not worth the time right now. We don't have the bone crusher either to like automatically bury the bones to um, give the prayer points back in the catacombs. So many reasons, but I'm just gonna be AFKing. Also, it's my account, so I can do what I want. And there is level 73 Slayer. Oh, dude, I've been away from the computer for the longest amount of time since I started this account. Um, not including going to bed, of course. Four hours of XP waste, and you want to know what it was for? It was for uh, it was for an ad that's not going to be in this video because they have to like watch the ad and approve it and make revisions if necessary. So the ad will probably be a few videos from now, but I'm super excited for it because it's it's a lot of fun. It's going to involve food too, by the way. That's I know it's really going to be good because I mean who doesn't like food, right? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I okay, I just completely like closed out the notification, but 79 hit points puts us at 1550 total level, and we got a. Uh, a interesting looking, uh, <laughs> interesting looking monster here. A very veiny boy. Well, that's the end of the first Dust Devil task. We made over 240k just in the GP, and then we got some other good supplies as well. We also now have a stack of Dust Runes, so I guess we'll save an inventory spot because it counts as both Air and Earth Runes. I feel like they should be relatively easy to upkeep. Wait, these. Okay, well, I, I guess we're not going to the <laughs> the Fossil Island Archaeologist. I I didn't realize that these guys dropped them. Oh, dude, the game's so easy. I, I love when things just have a way of working themselves out. Dude, what? Back to back? What? <laughs> what? All right, then, I guess. All right. <laughs> Thanks, game. Also, I need to be praying melee here. I was just looking up the strategy guide as I was killing them. Also, <laughs> I just remembered I have chivalry. What am I doing, dude? It's been an interesting day today. Oh, Rune Warhammer. We need that for a hard clue step. I just looked up the drop rate. Apparently it's one out of 64 for the unstrung rune crossbow. It's such weird timing too, because literally as I was running in there, Spook just asked me this. 
she was asking for the the maple logs for fletching because she's been training fletching all day today. And of course, right after she asks that, I get this drop and then we get it again back to back, one out of 64. Life is all a simulation, dude, for real. Why do I keep running into so many dragon implings on this account? I'll leave it for some other Iron Man to get. That's a sign that we got Train Hunter, or Spook has a Train Hunter, I should say. I'm just doing my birdhouses. Oh, first time checking the mahogany trees, and oh boy, does it feel so good. 59 farming, and looks like we're gonna end up getting to level 60 from this last tree right here. Oh, yeah. So nice. Pretty interesting place to get this. Uh, 62 crafting from making the birdhouse. I've just been watching it very, very, very slowly go up over time because this is the only crafting training I've been doing. 87 strength. Giving Spook some volcanic ash so she can make some more ultra compost and continue on the herb runs and then uh, get 77 herb lore sooner than later or 70, 73 with the pie. Getting stamina as soon as possible would be very nice. <gasps> no way, look at all the prayer pots. Yes, thank you, Spook. I'll trade her some uh, hair landers here. This is the first like real stack of prayer pots I had on the account. Let me see what I had already. I think I got these from Wyverns, and I think I made these when we did Monkey Madness 1. So this is like, this is huge, dude. Let's go decant all these potions. Granted, I'm still not gonna be using prayer pots for just casual, general AFK Slayer, but it's nice to know we have them if like I wanna go to DKs or something. Or uh, <laughs> Rex, I should say, not quite ready for DKs. Oh, <laughs> I just woke up and I checked the birdhouse right here and that just got us to 63 Hunter. I love waking up and getting a level. That is the level four red chins. Well, it is time to collect from the kingdom. So uh, just making sure everything is set on wood and then the other half is on herbs. Let's go ahead and collect with Advisor Grimm and 5.2k maple logs. That's what I was looking for because uh, Spook is currently training fletching. She's level 60 and we need to get her to 69 so she can fletch the rune crossbow. Nice. I guess I'll deposit a bit more money in here. Still above 1 mil GP though. She just told me that she needs 6.5k maple logs or maple longbows unstrung to get to 69 fletching and we have 5.3k in total so I'll give all those to her and then um, I guess in one more day of collecting kingdom from both of us that will be enough to get her to the level. Yo mystic row bottom light new slot for the collection log and the only way to get this is either from Turoth's or from alchemical hydro which we're pretty far away from. You can't buy this anywhere. It's a 1 in 512 drop by the way. Dude look in the bottom left corner here we have 117 fire giants left on task. And if we hover over the Slayer icon, we have 117 more Fire Giants to get this Slayer level. I could not have asked for more perfect timing um, because once we get that level, that's going to be the end of the video. <laughs> what mind shield are you talking about? I have, I have no idea. I don't have a shield on. Whoa, what the heck? Dragon Medhelm from the Fire Giant? Um, there is a clue step that we need this for, plus it just looks freaking cool. And I guess it's also the best tanky helm that we have right now until we get like a Barrow's helm. Apparently it's a 1 out of 16,384 drop rate. Oh, there's actually two clues you need this for. And there it is, 74 Slayer. It's so much XP to next level. I keep saying that because, I mean, it's just getting worse and worse between every single level, 114k. It's like over 10 hours of Slayer for me. Now, before we end the video here, I just wanna show you the group Iron Man uh, high scores for duo. And if we go down, this is the front page. We have made it to the front page, just barely. But at least we can say that at one point, if we were on the front page for duo group Iron Man. Let's see, we didn't do any diaries. I don't think we did any quests today either. Here's the playtime and all that. Uh, and then here's the stats. We made it up to 1556 total level. Next video, I mean, of course, we'll just be going on with Slayer. We'll get Gargoyles unlocked and see how far we make it from there. Um, hopefully get magic up as well so we can start casting super glass makes soon to work on glories and uh, if you haven't already make sure you check out my duo teammate spook dogs video which you can find a link to in the description below and with that said thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you have a great day and i will see you again next time